Hello everyone, welcome to part 54 of Let's Play Dark Souls. Picking up where we left off here at the top of Sand's Fortress. Um, we're going to be <laughs> moving on through the... I'm going to try to get a lot done this time. You know, the last few episodes have been a little bit scatterbrained, but you know, here, kicking things off. I'm in my main armor, not messing around anymore. <laughs> I want to I wanna really get a good chunk of recording done right now. I've been... Uh, I know I said I'm coming back to finish Dark Souls, and then I proceed to just like not <laughs> play it very much not like one video every two weeks but that's because i've been getting uh you know overwhelmed oh wait this is not where i want to be off to a great start already <laughs> but basically you know like i said started a new job been keeping focused on that but it is you know nearing the holidays so i got a little bit more free time things a little more chill i'm in a better rhythm now so now i'm gonna go ahead and commit what I started <laughs> and get this game done. Yeah, this is where I want to go. Um, not human. Probably should be human. Let me get you back here. And now I'm human, just like that. With the power of video editing. <laughs> Only that easy. Yeah, you have to use two Estus flasks because those two snake men at the front door always give me trouble. <laughs> Very annoying. However, this is my first time playing in a few weeks, so I'm also slightly rusty. Um, but yeah, I think I mentioned it, but my goal is to get a lot of footage done in this recording session for me. A bit of an ambitious goal of getting to Ornstein and Smo. <laughs> We're going to see how well that goes. But, you know, got got some spare time this, this Saturday, so what better way to do it than play video games, right? Uh, depending on how quickly I can uh, get through here. Oh boy. Let's uh, watch out for the lightning bolts. Oh, okay, thank god for the wolf ring there. I've said that probably hundreds of times at this point in this let's play, but it seriously is a lifesaver, because if I got staggered, I would have been right in front of the axes. I would have been thrown down. Not a good time. So let's see here. What's on the agenda? We do need to rescue Big Hat. That is required since I forgot to buy the um, magic last time. Still trying to be a little speedy. Um, Debating if I want to bother with Sigmar. I feel like I do. But like, we did his quest already, and there's really no reason to do it again. Uh, and you know what? I'm also going to skip a lot of the loot that I already have. Like the steel plate ring. I already got that. Don't need to get it again. Um, oh, and you know what I forgot to do? Is put this down. So, this is a random room. Probably not going to get some of it, but <laughs> you never know. Like I said, guys, at this point, PvP and multiplayer in general is just too hard to plan around, so um, I'm just gonna not do that. I'm gonna just sort of we'll take what we can get at this point. And let's see, I can be really speedy. It's possible to. Oh, well, I made it in. <laughs> so, yeah, without having to go all the way around, we're already almost at the top of Sense Fortress. Oh, uh, oh, oh, hold on, wait. Like I said, we gotta get Big Hat. Gotta get big head. That is one of our requirements right now. And for that, we want to push the switch this way. Remember, the ball goes in the opposite direction that the stick is pointing. And there it goes. So now, I will point it outside, but it really doesn't matter because then it's just gonna rotate around on us anyway. Which is very annoying, but what can you do? Did I buy a master key from Dama? I feel like I didn't. <laughs> Mystery key. No, I never did. Okay, so you know what? <laughs> that means. What that means is we actually have to go get the key in here first, which is like all the way at the top. Oh man. <laughs> but we can always enjoy the window. Get a little bit of sunlight. There's a message. Illusory wall. No, no, that is a lie. There's no illusory wall here. Always be. <laughs> People are just so mean. They'll just lie about that so often. It is kind of funny. To uh, troll people. This guy's gonna start some trouble. Oh. Got me there. Got him though. Heal up. And then, I don't, I don't think that guy over there is chasing me. Or 
we'll just work our way up. We're almost there. It's going good. We're making very good time so far. Okay. Oh. There's this. Not even gonna bother fighting that guy. Now, oh yeah, so one one thing that we're gonna do differently here. Oh, something's gone. <laughs> Uh, one thing we're gonna do differently is I want to leave that guy up there alive for the boss fight. It should make things interesting. Ooh. But definitely gonna rest up on fire. Which is a level up. Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, probably gonna die a lot. So, well, do I bother to use some souls? May as well. Like I don't think we've been using the big ones very much. Like, let's treat ourselves. Let's use this old Ray Warrior. I think this will give 10,000. Nope, only 5,000. <laughs> so I believe if I use two more of those, I'll have enough to level up. If I remember correctly. Yeah. There we go. This will give us a little bit more damage. Right, heads up. Level 33. Nice. Okay, so. Before the boss fight, I think I'm gonna go get the head. Let's we'll get that out of the way. Which means we have to get the key first. Uh, and I don't think there's much else I really care about at this point around here. I guess we can go fight uh, Rickard. That. Oh boy. You. Fight the big boy knight. Alright, what you got? What you got? Okay. Uh, yeah. see, see how good it is to use this weapon, this sword, <laughs> compared to just messing around with random things. I think I'm telling you, I, I was gonna be all random and diverse every episode, but it's just too many bad experiences. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to what I know, stay in my lane at this point. Uh, okay, here's our. Is he Duke or Prince or something? I think he's some sort of royalty. Ow. Oh, we got lower him into the next tab. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, yeah, <laughs> he almost got me with the combo. Would have been nasty. Yep, that ain't gonna work on me. Too much poise. Feels bad. Um, actually, feels good for me, but it <laughs> feels bad for him. So let's see, we'll get the uh, this thing, probably gonna come in handy when we fight Seath, and then this thing which we will literally never use. So, <laughs> down here we can get another copy of his sword. We can uh, dual wield those if we like. No, there's really no reason to do so. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's much else to say. Like, I went over a lot of the lore <laughs> the first part of the playthrough. Plus, I was a lot more into things <laughs> at the time. Dark Souls has not really been on my mind very much lately. Um, I still love the game, right? Don't get me wrong, but I can't really say much about the world off the top of my head. I have to sort of look that stuff up and be in like a real Dark Soulsy mood. Because, uh, yeah, the. The unfortunate truth right now is I am kind of just focused on finishing the let's play as opposed to really like passionately wanting to do it. But still, yeah, I'm proud of this. I think it came out good. Uh, I'm not even gonna talk to that guy. Literally, no reason to. But you know, like I said many times, I cannot just leave leave it hanging like that the way I did. You know, it's, I'd be doing all y'all dirty. Oh man. This whole episode is basically just rescuing Big Head. We're spending so much time dedicated to this. So now we gotta go backtracking all the way around. Because yeah, this episode, like, obviously I didn't do this too fast, but this is a good demonstration of, uh... You can definitely speedrun this game pretty aggressively. <laughs> um, even if you don't do glitches, you can get it done in, like... Two hours, I want to say. If you're that, then again, that's if you're like perfect, not getting hit by any bosses, going exactly where you need to go, getting lucky with 
things like Black Knight Halberd and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's two hours is faster than you would think <laughs> compared to just playing normally. Uh, where do I want to go now? I think that might actually be the fastest way. Whee! Oh, no. Okay, oh, I'm alive. I'm alive! Dune reference, I uh, did not put enough enthusiasm as uh, Baron Harkonnen does. I'm talking the original uh, 1984 Dune, by the way. Um, I think I want to go this way. Uh, okay, you know what? I know where I want to go. I want to get the shortcut. That will speed things up. I'm going to need the keyboard anyway, so it all works out. Yes, in uh, 1984 Dune, <laughs> for those of you who haven't seen, it's um, there's this one scene where this uh, the main villain almost gets poisoned um, in a trap, but he survives. And when he realizes he survives, he just does this really hilarious, <laughs> um, maniacal laughing of "I'm alive, I'm alive." <laughs> and it's all I think of any time I say those words. Which I don't say it too often, right? Because like I'm not dying in real life very much. But um, that whole movie was just like really trippy for a lot of reasons. I push him into the. Okay, now he's he died before. The... Whoa! Uh, wait, no, I want to go this way. But yeah, that movie was pretty trippy in general. Like it's a serious, it's like a really serious book. Uh, the new movie I think captures the tone perfectly. But like that movie was almost just like. <laughs> I can't even describe it. Just like insanity <laughs> is possibly the best word. Like the plot was insane because it definitely does not follow the book very much, at least after the second half. This guy just leaning on nothing. Nice, we got the dropping tech. Um, but yeah, overall, it's like it's not a bad movie, right? Like the special effects are like really high budget, so it's pretty to look at. The first half of the movie follows the book really well, so that gets to it, but then it just gets crazy <laughs> and really hard to follow and you're just like counting the minutes for it to be done <laughs> already. But um, I'd say give it a watch. It's uh, entertaining if you're into that. So anyway, let's get this guy out of here. I'm not even going to listen to him, like I said. Spent all the time in the first part listening to all the dialogue. Hopefully you got the full story there. So he's going back to Firelink. Um, we should be smart enough this time to talk with him. I don't know if we were originally, but probably double check that before because um you know like i said i got a lot planned i want to try to get done today however i do not i do not think i'm gonna make it all the way back to firelink best case i make it all the way to orange scene and smoke um wait what am i doing i have a shortcut this is not the way to go oh well you died Nice. So many souls. Very happy about that. As, as far as I knew, you get two times the souls in New Game Plus, but it appears to be three times because I think you get 500 souls from these guys normally. I just got 1500. But there's the uh, gold ring, I believe. The gold serpent ring. But again, we already have that, and that ring does not stack, so. No real reason to go out of our way to do that. Um, okay, so we rescued Big Hat. We... Uh, what else did we do? Got the key. I think yeah, we just gotta fight the boss. So I am gonna go and... Bone, because I've only got three Estus, and... Probably won't bother King Kindling, unless I'm having like, a lot of trouble. But I would like to at least have five. <laughs> I don't think that's asking for too much. But uh, yeah, this is going to be the first time I ever fight this boss with the um, fireball guy still alive, so hopefully this goes as hilariously as I would like it to. But no, my luck, it's just going to be an hour of me dying until I'm so frustrated my commentary just becomes uncomfortable to listen to. <laughs> uh, but I think, I think I've done a decent job of uh, managing frustration, right? Just feel like you know, general I'm at a point in my life where I don't get as angry as I used to when I was a high schooler. <laughs> Plus, um, you know, 
trying to not let that show on camera, still trying to be entertaining. It's all about just laughing it off, you know? Don't let it get to you, don't let it ruin your day. It's, it's only something to do. It's like uh, that one hockey player in the meme says, it's something to do. So, uh, yeah, normally go up the stairs, go over there and summon Tarkus, but we are going to do none of that. We are going to instead go right for it. And you know what? Just for extra, just tempting a storm, let's open with a well. What is it? Whoa! Okay. <laughs> just in time. Alright, so let's see here. I don't know where the fire is going to land. So I guess we'll just sort of find out. Okay. Starting to throw the ball. Oh no, I got thrown. Oh boy. Okay. Thankfully I was invincible. <laughs> no! <laughs> Stop spamming that. Okay, let's try to maybe, like, get behind him. You. Stop using the same thing. Okay, this isn't too bad. Basically, just gotta keep an eye on him and then not roll into the fire. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. I feel like that was pretty preventable. Um, I sort of just <laughs> I kept trying to roll through his legs, which may not be the best idea. So uh, take two. I'll meet you back up there. Uh, no need to be human again. Since we're not summoning, so I will see you at the gate. Okay, we're back, and there's a lot of rumbling going on. But let's see, let's see how we do this time. I would like to see if I can still get the um, like the special way to kill this guy, because I feel like it's it's not. I don't consider it to be like a cheap way to beat him, because you have to have things go really right <laughs> for it to work. Okay, that could have been bad. Let's see, look, like we're cut off right now. <laughs> Find this little area. Oh, okay, good to know. That's like his maximum range. The fireball. That appears to be the case, yeah. Oh, I don't want him to kick me off either. Okay, this feels a little cheap to just hide over here. <laughs> but this is the best way to get him to fall off, so let me see if I can do that over here. Okay, here we go, here we go. He's wobbling, he's wobbling. Give me enough damage. To fall. Come on. Got another bit more, got a bit more. Oh my god, I didn't have enough damage up. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh. Oh no. Fire bad. Okay, let's get out of the uh, non danger zone. Let's make this kind of challenging, right? I think it's just a matter of um, having a good sense of timing for when he's going to throw it. It's, oh, what? He keeps throwing it in the same spot. He definitely was not doing that the first time. Okay, well now he's doing it, so I'm just going to literally not go over there. I watch him throw it on me right now. Oh, no. okay. So I guess he is committed to over there. That in mind. And just try to not stand there. Oh, okay, I thought he was starting to get wobbly. Okay, no more assists. <laughs> Be careful now. Ow. Okay, I was not on this foot there, but whatever. Okay, okay. No big deal. Easy fight, easy fight. No! <laughs> <laughs> oh. So, yeah, be careful of that because <laughs> he can definitely, like, kick you off, as we just learned. Although, well, that was less of a kick, more of just like a. Like a I don't know what you'd call it, like a little nudge with your foot. <laughs> it's the same way you'd, like, nudge. Little like puppy out of the way if it's like being annoying. Definitely not hard. Okay, that sounds way worse. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I would not nudge a quick PR. More like a little gentle, gentle like push it out of the way, but you know, not off a freaking cliff. Um. Anyway, 
I swear I love puppies. <laughs> we're gonna ignore that statement. And we're gonna meet you back at back at the gate. Oh, okay, I forgot to say hello again, but here we are <laughs> in the next round through the fight. So I think we're I think this is the one we're gonna get it because we nearly got him last time. And if the pattern continues, we should now I don't know if we got lucky and he and the fire guy broke and just kept throwing it in the same spot. But hopefully that pattern continues. It doesn't seem to be. Oh my god. Okay, okay, we're on the ropes already. But that's fine. Just a little heal going. Ooh, that grab I am actually scared of. Ooh, little turnaround grab. Okay, I feel like maybe that's not pusher sure luck. Not stand in the same spot where we got kicked off last time. Or I'm sorry, nudged off. <laughs> Good little puppy. Ah. Oh boy. Stuck between two hard spots. Yeah, I guess okay. He seems to just throw it in that one spot, which makes this not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. I have a plan to try to get him to fall off again. No! Well, <laughs> that, that, that was not the plan. So anyway, next fight, we're going to go back on the pitch because I want to see if I can get it to work. And I will see you there. Oh man, the worst part of dying so often is that it completely throws off my timer. I like to start like a little countdown timer when I begin an episode to have some sense of how long the episode's going, but when I keep dying, I have to keep cutting out several minutes of footage and then completely lose track of how long the episode's actually going to be, and that's why I can't make consistently long episodes. <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's go around for So we're going to go right to the bridge because, as we've discovered, the fire guy is not as much of a challenge as I was hoping it would be. He just throws it in the same spot where I would like not even stand very often anyway. Okay, yeah, that's not gonna work. Let's bring him way over here. <laughs> okay. Come here. to use green blossom because we had a stamina problem. Therefore, if we have extra stamina, we should be able to do enough damage. That's the theory at least. But you know we have to actually get up to stagger. Okay, here we go. So now we just unload on. And he's I think he's lined up well. So now look at that stamina recovery. Up, get another full combo in. There he goes. We did it! We did it! Ah! Down he goes. Oh my god. And so that's how you can get an easy victory on the Iron Gold. Well, I say easy, but I would say a bit of a <laughs> bit of a process, wasn't it? So anyway, um, now that we beat him, I don't know if we should bother to even fight that guy. Uh, let's see. Is he still gonna throw, or is he just like? Yeah, he's scared. He knows. He knows. We'll, we'll let him move. We'll go. Let him be scared. Tell all the other giants what he saw today. <laughs> so anyway, let's uh, let's head on up to Anilando.
here we are, City of the Gods. This would be a good way to end the episode. I love the cutscene in there because it's an interesting cutscene. I always like to see the, uh, not these guys, but the view of the city with the music. It's like, ah, chef's kiss, you know. But uh, anyway, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Hope you guys learned a lot. Finally glad I got to showcase something that I promised for once. <laughs> the freaking uh, dropping the golem like that. But uh, yeah, I will catch you guys next time. So long.